All right, we're on our way to go get Zeki. Sam's driving to our first official surprise date night um, extravaganza. Yes, so, all right. So what it is that we're doing is we are gonna take turns picking a date night. So tonight is the first night that we're doing it and it's my turn. So Zach has no idea where we're going. No idea. I've picked a restaurant which you don't even it doesn't even have to be a restaurant it can just be anything so but tonight I picked a restaurant and then I have some activities for afterward why is it so low it better do I look good it's looking right at you your do, face do you have me in the shot nicely yeah I mean I don't know if you want your whole body in it right. but yeah it was your face okay so anyway so yeah so now we're on our way over there we're leaving the garage now and um, Zach has no idea do you have any guesses yeah I have no idea. Uh, no, I don't want to guess. I just want to be surprised. Um, I'm in the mood for any type of food. I don't have a preference. I just want to be surprised and have a good time because I had a rough day today. Aww. So that's really about it. So all I want to do is have a good time with this beautiful lady. And um, that's really about it for me. Anything else that you'd like to say? or? Um, no, I'm really excited. I think we did this with movies where we trade off on what movies we like to watch and the other person doesn't get a say and I think that's important when you're in a relationship because what ends up happening is you both try to compromise and to suit the other person and neither of you ends up liking what you're actually doing or watching or eating so this is kind of fun because you can curate the whole night the other person has zero say and um yeah, no, they just, it's also kind of fun to be surprised. I mean, and it doesn't have to be a surprise, but I like the element of surprise, so I've added that into tonight. Um, but yeah, so no, I'm excited. So we're on the way there right now. Yes, and uh, we will be there, I'm assuming shortly. Yeah, and but also like I want to vlog it because I really enjoy our vlogs. I like, you know, like in New York, I've vlogged a few, uh, both of our trips up to New York, and that was always so nice to like relive those memories and have the footage. So that's kind of what, this is an awful ass shot of me. I hate you for this. Why, what? You're just like. It's pointing right at you. What's the problem? It's awful. But anyway. Um, How should it be? Like in your face? Like I don't know, I don't know what you're looking for. <laughs> but no, I like this because then we can watch it back later. We can enjoy new memories, go into places together. It's just fun. And then you can watch it later and all that. So, see so ya. Yeah. Sounds good. I guess we'll catch up uh, once we arrive at said uh, location. Do you have any guesses of like what we're doing or where we're going, or what type of food or anything? I have no idea. All I know is I'm starving and I want some food. Some food, and that's it. That's really about it. It's all I can guess to me right now. I have no idea. No idea. Are you excited? I'm 100% excited. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> all right. We'll check in once we uh, arrive to the location. What did you think? Tell me how you felt. I thought it was a, I thought it was a cool atmosphere. I thought it was a nice little chill spot. Had some, had a beer, had a decent burger. If I had to rate the burger, I feel, I feel like it was probably, uh, probably, a, probably six out of ten. A little above six average. Six out of ten. Okay. It was uh, <clears throat> first portion of the burger was good, but then like towards the end, it was kind of dry. The fries were good. Can't really mess up fries. But. Yeah, fries are crinkle cut fries are hard to fuck up. Um, so yeah, so I'd say if I had to rate the whole meal, I'd say 6.5 out of 10. Okay. All right. Anything special or anything that you were like, I'd come back for this or any like? I want to. I want to come back and try the the 
And was it Impossible Burger? I actually kind of want to try that too. Let's do that next time. Yeah, I'll, I'll It's a vegan again. burger, but like it's supposed to it's be. It's a decent place to get a burger on the go. Like if you're on the go, it's, it's, a, it's a nice chill spot. What'd you think? All right, so. Uh. <laughs> um, I wouldn't get the onion rings ever again. Right. Uh, they're just not the style of onion rings I like. They weren't bad onion rings. It wasn't like they made them wrong or something. It's just the style of the batter I didn't like. It was like less of a sweet batter and more of like like a um, corn corn mealy kind of batter. Um, the burger I liked. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would come back for another burger here. Um, that being said, there was nothing special about it, but I would put it up there with Shake Shack. Like it's it's no worse than Shake Shack would be. Okay. So um, their chocolate malt was very good. Um, people don't make malts for real, I feel like. It's hard to find a malt. And so they put a lot of good malt in there. So it was good, that was good. But again, nothing that blew my socks off or anything. But, Knocked my socks off. But it was cute. They had anime videos in there. And it was a fun environment. And uh, I would totally go again. Sweet. Walking right. to Sprouts now. You got it? It's a nice night. I'm walking up to Sprouts. It's actually really hard. It's really hard to vlog and walk. You have to be in shape for this shit. And you yep. have to be coordinated, and I'm neither. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. You can see the top of the pencil.